Hi, I'm Craig Tyriak, Director of Product Management at Scale Computing, and in this video we will be walking through the Snap Clone feature built into version 8.1 of HyperCore. So first things first, let me log into the system, and I'm going to navigate to a one particular virtual machine here. And the workflow that we're going to walk through is what you would need to do as an administrator to restore a file for an end user. So what you'll notice is on this virtual machine that I actually have snapshots taken roughly every five minutes. And of course this is policy driven and based on whatever policy you need in your environment you can set that. With that in place, if an end user calls saying that they have deleted a file and they'd like you to restore it, here's the process that you'll need to go through. First let me act as that user deleting the file. And then we'll go back to the HC3 UI here to our snapshots list. And the new feature you'll, you'll see built in 8.1 and beyond is that on our snapshots list, we now have a drop down that shows device, volume, allocation, capacity, that sort of information. So you can go back to the point in time where you know that file exists and then add that uh, particular virtual disk onto the running virtual machine. What we're technically doing here is from the snapshot, we're cloning just that virtual disk. And then based on whichever selection you have of a running virtual machine on the system, you can add that virtual disk live onto, onto the virtual machine. So now that I've done that, I can go into my VM here and you'll notice in the disk view that I actually have a new disk that I can bring online. And with that online, I can navigate over, find the file that I want to restore, copy it and paste it. And that's it. So again, the file restore process is pretty simple, but that's entirely enabled based on the fact that I now can find a snapshot, do a snap clone from a virtual disk on that snapshot, and do a hot add of that virtual disk onto a running virtual machine on HC3, whether it's the exact VM that I'm trying to restore to for the, the lost file, or maybe it's to an entirely different virtual machine which has other implications and other use cases. If you have any questions about this feature, please give us a call at 877-SCALE-59 or visit our website at scalecomputing.com. Thank you so much.